Okay. I see no more people just willing to enter this room at the moment. This is an event that you don't really want to miss, but it's technically a little bit more complicated than some of the other talks because both the session chair and the speaker are in China and couldn't travel here. So my name is Katharina kose hoeinghaus I'm here to direct the questions. And I see Bin on screen already. Professor Bin Yang from Tsinghua University will introduce our topical lecture today with Professor Haiping Yang, who is also online. So please, Bin, you're on for your introduction. Thank you. OK, uh, dear all, welcome to today's topic review lecture. I'm Bi Yang from Tsinghua University. It is my great pleasure to introduce our speaker, Professor Haiping Yang. Dr. Yang is a professor from Huazhou University of Science and Technology. Where she got her PhD in 2005 and has been working there since then. Professor Yang's academic area is biomass energy, and her research interests include green hydrogen production, carbon material, renewable liquid oil synthesis, and the small chemical conversion mechanism. So far, he has published over 200 papers, uh, one of which has been cited more than 4,000 times. She was awarded the Newton Advanced Fellowship in 2018. She was one of the most cited Chinese researchers from elsewhere in 2014. And she got the Distinguished Paper Award of the 38th International Symposium on Combustion last year. She is an associate editor of Field Processing Technology and editorial board member of other five journals. And she will serve as one of the Combustion Institute board members in the next six years. So now, uh, Professor Yang, we are looking forward to your talk. Please. Please go ahead. Okay, uh, thanks, uh, Professor uh, Yang. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Happy Yang uh, from Huadong University of Science and Technology. So, firstly, I will thank uh, uh, the chairman's invitation. Also, uh, thank uh, the uh, host, uh, Professor Yang and Kathleen. Uh, so, it's really my great honor to be here uh, to share the recent development of biomass pyrosis. So, my title for the presentation is about uh, mechanism on biomass pyrosis for carbon-based high-value products. So can you see my screen and uh, hear my voice smoothly? Yes. Okay. Uh, so my presentation mainly includes uh, uh, five parts. So firstly, like look at the, the introduction. I think we uh, are very familiar, familiar with this the background as the uh, uh, fossil fuel uh, crisis, also the carbon neutral, uh, especially in China, we need uh, to get the target of neutral in the 2060. Uh, but all these things we need, uh, we need to find some new strategy, new energies or green energies. As in biomass, we know that is uh, uh, carbon is very abundant, it have a huge amount. Also, it's renewable. Another point is very important one is carbon neutral. Uh, but if we combine with some uh, like the <clears throat> like the CCUS technology, or we combine with some solid char, it can be carbon negative. So well, it's have to predict like if in a, in, a, in China, if we convert other biomass uh, with some CCUS or with some solid char technologies, so the uh, the CO2 reduced amount can be over 20% of our target in uh, 2050. So the uh, Paris is, is can come to the biomass to uh, uh, to gas, to bio oil, also to solid char. Then it can be used for some, uh, you know, the, for the liquid fuel, also for, for can be refinery for some chemicals. For the solid char, it can be go to the like the uh, catalyst or, or the solvent for the pollutants. Also, it can be used for the uh, energy storage materials. So we think that the Paris is very efficient, also very very important for the biomass conversion to the high value products. Uh, another point, let's look at the. the uh, 
uh, it's like some chemical, we know, uh, in the, some chemical process, we have three different ways. It's like so, uh, pyrolysis, gasification, or combustion. I think everyone knows of combustion. Is anything with uh, like the pyrolysis with uh, any illicit with combustion or with gas patients one, or is have any difference? Uh, when uh, last uh, uh, slides we already introduced like the pyrolysis is mostly they converted the different like gas, solid, or liquid products. Combustion mostly we know is can be to CO2 or uh, water. It's mostly for the target is for heat. But the gas station is mostly we know is for syn gas. Uh, when we look at the process of the uh, biomass pyrolysis. Normally, at the low temperature, is mostly is uh, for the volatile releasing, so it's quite pyrolysis process. But if we go to the high temperature, but if without, I mean, without the oxygen, uh, oxygenate like the air or oxygen or water, it can be go to the second pyrolysis. But if we have some uh, air or oxygen or water there, it will go have having some oxidation reaction, so we will go to the gas prison and the combustion. So this is a difference also the relationship with the pyrolysis or with for the gas burning and the combustion. So the pyrolysis is a almost this is a, it's a first step for all some chemical conversion biomass or maybe other uh, solid fuels like. Okay, so uh, because pyrolysis is a very important the, the process, so it attracts the many many uh, a large amount of interest in the, like the research. So from the, in the last 20 years, it's increased very quickly, it's especially in the recent 10 years from 2010. So you can see the publication numbers, you know, elsewhere, uh, it's increased, sadly, increased linearly. So now it means every each year it can be over 3,000 papers published. So the leading topic we can know from the right finger is from the uh, related to pyrosis, it can be uh, like the, the products like biochar, like liquid oil. Also, they have many different like the components like the cellulose or plus polygony. It also include many different uh, conditions like temperature or also maybe many others one. So it's, let's look at the, the history of pyrosis. Uh, I think very early in the like the before 1960s, mostly we uh, use pyrolysis for the sort of the char productions, the mostly the slow pyrolysis. The char can be used in the house where, you know, for the cooking or heating. So after that, is uh, go to the 1970s. It's uh, have the, because we know the liquid oil is very uh, undemanding. We need the for transportation or something. So, it's, uh, so it's uh, like many many people see the focus on the fast pyrolysis for liquid fuels. It can be used in the transportation. Then after that, now when for, for the 2010s, like because we need some uh, high quality oil, high quality liquid oil. So is the catalyst is develop some like the catalytic fast pyrolysis for the aromatics or olives. So the automatic on the olivines can be added to the uh, gasoline, also the diesel, it can be used directly. But can't now, currently, because we have the, we just now now mentioned because biomass pyrolysis can be have many different chemicals, maybe we can have refinery. So uh, pyrolysis for chemicals, also for biochar is a hot, hottest topics now. Uh, because we need to get some, you know, uh, high value production. Also, we want to get the, uh, you know, many products, maybe many target products together. So we, the current generation will be in the future is a good uh, choice. Uh, when we uh, talk about the current generation, we have some example here. So here is uh, done by my group. We, we develop some the moving beds we actually is uh, on moving beds for this can we can get uh, uh, the products like the biochar as the or you uh, have a 30 percent of biochar also it can be get the bio oil uh, after that after conditioning is get the very uh, high temp, uh, high heating value uh, biogas so it's this one you can get some uh, the for the biogas is for cooking for the liquid oil, it can be directly into the heavy oil like wood tar, also the light oil for the wood vinegar. And for the silver chai, it can be compact, compact easily is for the uh, barbecue uh, pork, or it can be takes the place of coal in the power plant. 
So here we have some pictures like the uh, like the demonstration unit. So this one is the just uh, near Wuhan is have the one one hour transportation. So for this one, based on this one, this one the uh, capacity is about one ten per hour. So the energy efficiency we calculate is can be over eighty five percent. So this one for the uh, industrial one. And now look at the science because uh, uh, even we just now mentioned the many technology are developed, uh, but there are still many problems because biomass pyrosis is still mostly is still uh, in the lab or in a domestic scale. But like the, for the commercial light, they still have some problem. So it means maybe they have science science problem not not uh, uh, you know not clear. So when we look at the uh, mechanism things one. So uh, firstly, when we can look at the bar structure, you can see uh, it's very different from the first view. Here, biomass is more con constant with the cellulose, with the cellulose, with the hemicellulose, with the lignin. It's three different fibers view. Also, it is sold the multiple views uh, natures, like is have a out have the outer one, is have model compound like glucose, uh, like the Lignic compounds or something also is have the from molecule scale scale is can be go to the cellulose, hemicellulose, ligni. Then we they, they combine together to the uh, mini miniatures one is can go to the well have a sample like Obama particles one. But if we get larger, we have for the industrial one mostly they may be considered with the, the it's from tree, it's from leaf, or it's from the stool. So this have different multi scale nature. So they are. Uh, have the uh, paralysis of protein will be very different also for the research. We need to go to look at from the map from a very nano scale to the large mi micro scale to a uh, micro scale. Okay, let's look at the paralysis process. When we look at this one, you can see if a uh, parasite process is normally they can divide into the like the three stage or two stage, can very low temperature, no. Uh, any no no very obvious reaction will happen here, but when temperature over 200 is have some uh, unstable uh, function groups will broken will deep branching, so it have uh, form some gas touch happened for the primary products one. But we, if we go to the uh, higher temperature, so it can go to the charring process. Also, gas as for well, the primary products can be under the secondary cracking. So it can go to the final product here. We, for the reactor skill, you we can uh, you look at the reactor skill. So there are many, many reactions. So it's to have the for beginning, they have a solid ten pieces can have the volatile releasing from the solid particles. So also they have uh, the solid biomass, they have different interaction of that. Maybe also after that, they have you know, the, for the gas phase, also for the liquid phase. So different. Uh, and then you accept the, this reaction chemistry one, it so also have some transportation like the, the heat or mass, mass transport. Uh, so in the, uh, in the uh, EES papers in the 2012, uh, the uh, Paul Duanhua from the Minnesota, uh, he and uh, point out they have the 10 uh, fundamental challenges for biomass pyrosis for, fuel, uh, for biofuels. But in the six, I mean, uh, in the 10 challenges, there are six challenges is about is on the fundamental chemistry one. So based on this one, our topic is mostly focused on the, uh, I mean, focused on our chemistry mechanism in the pathway, what happened for the reactions one. So this is a, uh, for the, uh, I mean, for based on the biomass paralysis, we divided it into, bit, uh, you know, for a placement, also the parasite process. You can see there are really many, many uh, parameters that influence our paralysis process, also our products. So you can see they have like the biomass, uh, biomass like, uh, uh, comparison, like the operating condition, like the temperature, like heating rate, like running time. Also catalyst, they really will have a great influence on our products. One. So firstly, we will, we, will, we will consider the one, what will happen the, uh, when we this this uh, different uh, condition happens, what will happen for the products? So it means first we will look something for the pyrosis behavior. Uh, then after the behavior, we want to look at it in, in depth to see what, the, what happened for the reactions, so why we have this kind of products, why we have this behaviors. 
But if uh, different from combustion and uh, different from combustion, because pyrolysis is not uh, to the final to heat, it's uh, because it's the energy conversion. So we need to uh, think about the products. So what is the product? All the product qualities used uh, can be used in the downstream, uh, down, downstream technology. So we need to have some high quality ones. Also, we need to look at the, uh, the whole system. Is the efficiency or high efficiency or not? So finally, we have some uh, slides on the regulation strategy. Is you know how to control the pyrosis process. We can get the high value products. So now let's look at the first we are look at the biomass pyrosis behaviors. Uh, this is uh, for the typical products distribution we collected from the different literature of one. Uh, from this picture, we can know uh, that at a very low temperature, like uh, uh, 300 or 400 degrees C, you can get a very high, like 50% uh, in solid char. Uh, but if, uh, if we go higher temperature, the solid char will decrease quickly. You will add the very 700, you only 20% or something. So it's very low. Uh, but for the liquid oil, you can know a low temperature is to have some content uh, 30 percent, but we go to the 500 degrees, you do have 70 almost, almost you have 70 percent. So, this is why is the further uh, we will put and with medium temperature, we'll go to for the liquid oil production. Uh, and now, is for gas, we know that it is always like the high temperature is available for gas production. So, is uh, if we want to have gas, we need to get the temperature over 700, maybe to 900 or something, you can get the high, uh, high, high gas yield. So based on the different like the uh, heating rate, like the temperature, like the like time, so the pyrolysis impact is, can be divided into three uh, different uh, uh, divisions, like the three different uh, technologies. So mostly they uh, divide into the slow pyrolysis with low temperature with very low heating rate, like the one degree C per minute. So it can be last uh, like the days, uh, or two days or, 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 or some several hours. So the main products we get is a solid chunk. Uh, but if we uh, want to get uh, oil, so it's a faster pyrolysis. Mostly we get the uh, medium temperature. We get a faster heating, like the, uh, the, the heating rate is like 10 degrees per second. So the rate time is quite low. It's just one second or two seconds. So you can get the bio oil like the 70 or 50 percent by oil but for the very fast heating rate like so we have heating rate over 1000 degrees per second so it's the it's a, it's a same as the flash pyrosis also it have the higher temperature and we can go to the 900 or something so you can get some special chemicals but also this one we need a very very short certain time like for less than one second so you can get a gas fuel or some special chemicals Uh, so after the after this just now just just the gas for the yield is totally yield. So how about the compression? Like we we also have a some look about the compression here. So when we look at compression, because you can see for first one for the gas in the very low temperature is mostly you know mostly is the CO one and CO two is in uh, at the low temperature is just some all the oxygen and in the CO and the CO two. Uh, but if we go to a higher temperature, the CO uh, content will be decreased very quickly, so you can get uh, higher hydrogen. So here, yes, the hydrogen is mostly from the uh, ligand uh, pyrolysis. So you can, uh, if you want, you mean for the if you want to produce produce the hydrogen rich gas, so we must have the choice the very high temperature, like 900 or something. But uh, uh, when we look at the middle picture, you can see that this one is for the liquid products. But this one, because we have some like, uh, because liquid product, in fact, is have many, many different species. But this one, we just uh, uh, summarize into different uh, types. Uh, like they have, uh, uh, they have linear aphatic. This mostly, oh, sorry. Uh, this mostly they have uh, uh, oxygen, like acid, acid, like ketones, but we also have, uh, but this one is mostly at the low temperature, like 300 or something, but if we go to the uh, 500 or something, we can get mostly the fruits. Uh, if we go higher, uh, go to the, like, uh, say, say over 600, you can get the windows, but all these products, we will we'll go if we go to the very high temperature, like eight or seven hundred, nine hundred degrees C. We get uh, only it's not only aromatic, it's mostly it's a pH like methylene. Like this means they have two or uh, two rings together. Uh, 
When we look at the, the, the right side one is most is the, for the child, child properties. This one we give uh, elemental uh, analysis. So like as they have when the low, temp low temperature for the biomass is mostly have very high option, very, also very high uh, hydrogen. This means they are like the hydro, uh, uh, like sugars, like a, uh, <coughs> yeah, they mostly have sugars. Even, even way the, if we go to a little bit higher temperature, you can see here, they can remove oxygen, remove hydrogen here. Then you, we go to some kind of like so a benzene ring will form here. If we go further, it means the remove, remove more hydrogen, remove more oxygen. So you can, the, the, the benzene ring can cluster together. You can have the small cluster for the small benzene ring cluster. But if the temperature over 600 or something, uh, is mostly here, it will be go to very strictly like the line, straight line to the hydrogen is most here is dehydrogenation. So the hydrogen will be this means of the organic ring, the benzene ring is fusing together, the condensation, uh, then it can get a big, big cluster, or so if we go higher, <clears throat> we can go to some graphite structure here. Uh, so here, based on the uh, chart structure, is have like the, you know we have the first that we use most for the amorphous carbon, but then we go to higher temperature, we get the coke, coke like the graphite, you know, this is graphite condition. Uh, it's that that one is for the uh, temperature for heating rate is just now this, uh, also uh, you know among the different heating rates it can be different divided into different uh, products or different uh, uh, technologies one the uh, is mean heating rate is also very deep, very important one so can you can see here uh, for the uh, heating rate if we, we increase the heating rate we can uh, increase the uh, liquid fuel liquid air. Uh, but if the term is a heating rate too fast, it means over 10, second, 10 degrees per second, then it will keep stable or something. Uh, but for the uh, space, if I'm for the liquid oil compression, you can know when we have a, a, a lower heating rate, you can have a large amount of aromatic one, uh, like the phenol, like benzene, like something, you can use the aromatic. But even with a fast heating rate, you can, we can see that in the downside of the picture, you can do it. Is, uh, the, they are also except some phenols. Right? You, uh, you also can see a lot of a large amount of the heavy compound. Uh, this is mean because the heating is too fast. So the uh, the one time will be released out very quickly, and it's no time for the second breaking. So this one, uh, this one we will. will uh, for the higher heating rate, so we can have uh, some heavy compounds. But even for the, I mean, for the liquid oil with the proteins, for the heavy compound, sometimes it's not good for for the oil. So in the transportation uh, skill, and the past three also maybe we need uh, you know, to get some uh, optimum heating rate to uh, to make sure we can get the higher you know higher uh, aromatic the single ring aromatic so that. Okay, so another factor is another uh, parameters for the uh, pyrosis process is pressure, but the pressure is we know is a high pressure is not good for the pyrosis because pyrosis is a one time releasing. So the high pressure is not good. So high pressure, the liquid will, uh, will have the higher charge here. Uh, uh, but we, uh, for this one, high pressure, maybe we need less heat. But when we look at the uh, oil yield, you can see the high pressure will not good. Or the liquid oil will def, uh, will decrease very quickly, but this for the uh, uh, for this one based on the high pressure is not good for the liquid oil. If we want to have the higher uh, liquid oil, so uh, some uh, technology like the vacuum pressure, the vacuum, you know, they, they made the very low pressures like the uh, uh, they just a two down uh, the power something they lower than the ambient one. So this one will be very good for the uh, you know for the volatile releasing. So they suck out the volatile. So this one will be uh, the, the technology especially for the high liquid oil. Uh, also, this one is uh, a little bit good. Of for the, for the heating value, so you can see the uh, when we lower than the uh, you know lower than the ambient pressure, we can get the heating value is like a forty something for for the million joule million joule per uh, kilogram. This one the heating value will be very close to the diesel or the uh, to gasoline. Uh, but only this one is uh, have a similar with just now heating rate because the compression maybe have the uh, higher heavy compound, the larger compound. 
uh, except the op operation uh, parameters one. In fact, the biomass type also showed uh, a big influence on the on the uh, products one. Now this one uh, with this the, the big in the middle we have picture is to on uh, we based on the uh, you know the big data for so the from the more leaning to so uh, how the influence from the biomass composition or how the influence from a uh, parasite condition. Uh, in fact, this one. Because the, maybe it is because with the condition we just uh, have the, a very closed uh, condition. So uh, when we uh, look at this picture, we can see the biomass compression will really uh, have a very, uh, very great influence uh, on the parasite behavior. So we will also, uh, you know, to describe some relationship, relationship with, uh, you know, biomass compression, like cellulose, have hemicellulose, like ligni, like the, also the inorganic compounds. Uh, we can see that. The, uh, the cell loss content, they, have, they are sold the linear relationship with the ketones one. Uh, but for fluorines, mostly they from the hemicellulose cell and the cell loss together, so they are close relationship with the hollow cell loss one. Uh, for phenols, because mostly from the ligni, so the here they, they sold very close relation with the ligni ones. Uh, so S content is uh, because it has a higher uh, partisan uh, RK content, maybe this one is uh, some very good catalyst. So this one is also uh, so the great influence, so the some relationship with our products one. So it means if we have the higher S, maybe the, some like the uh, salt chain acid will be decreased. So this is the other um, uh, parasitic behaviors one. So what, why this one will happen? Let's look at the uh, second part, is the mechanism of biomass pyrolysis. Uh, because normally the, uh, the biomass pyrolysis mechanism, normally they are uh, divided, they are described based on the uh, products uh, from the different temperature or from some different conditions. So well, let's uh, firstly look at it from the uh, gas, uh, gas product from the different temperature. So we can see when we look at the first picture, we can see that the CO2 is a uh, release out where uh, like a low temperature, most like the uh, lower than 400 or something. So this one mostly they are from the, you know, like the uh, glucose, also the uh, like the cellulose or hemicellulose. They have some uh, glyphosate. Uh, yeah, in the acid bond, in the between the different uh, units. So they firstly at the low temperature they are classic the cleavage. So this this one they can form the CO two. Also with some you know the uh, like the monomers. So this one we we name we we uh, give the describe region for CO two is mostly mostly they form from the uh, glycidic cleavage for hollow cellulose. Uh, but the different. Oh, sorry. Uh, different from the uh, CO2. Well, the carbon monoxide is a, have the two two types. They come first, they come some, I mean, little part from the low temperature is similar with the CO2. But the, the, the large part is from the very high temperature, they from the decarbonic reactions one. Uh, for the machine gas, machines, they are also from the very high temperature, like they start at the 500 degrees or something. So machine is mostly from the from from the ligni. They have the uh, ox mass oxide uh, branch. For this one, they have the after 600, uh, that, uh, they have demoxic branch, so they form the uh, methane gas. The second part is uh, for the high temperature. This one is also has some from the you know from a tar cracking, but also from a tar cracking the branch uh, on the task part. Uh, for the hydrogen, they are a little bit very similar. Uh, they are not very simple. I mean, it have the very high temperature. So uh, it's mainly from the like the uh, just the mid bending ring at a high temperature. They are fusing together. So they at the dehydrogenation, so they form the uh, you know form some lot a large amount of hydrogen here. Then secondly, we summarize the, the liquid liquid species where it come from. Uh, so it's a different. This one, the, uh, the for the comparison is a, a little bit similar with the different temperatures, the liquid liquid products one. Uh, but this one, when we look at the, uh, the first picture in the very low temperature, is mostly you can see uh, they are uh, from firstly they are acetic acid, the ketones, or the esters is mostly light oxygenase one. But this oxygen one, uh, one most likes the form. 
the holocellulose like the hemicellulose or cellulose, they have some, uh, you know, decomposition, so they can have some very light oxygenates. So if your temperature increase to 400 and something, it will decrease very fast. Uh, maybe they still have the, a little bit, they have keep something, keep some. But you, when we go to 400, so they, they have friends. Right? This one is uh, also mainly from the hemicellulose and the cellulose, the decomposition or, de or dehydrogenation, the open green, so you can form, uh, to form some uh, friends. Also with some a little bit for the cyclopentins one. Right. Uh, there are, for the solid, the solid char part, you when we see that, the solid char, uh, uh, not a solid char, is uh, for the so phenols one, is mostly from the, uh, just now mentioned that the 600, you can get the phenol. So the phenols one is mostly from the uh, legally decomposition. So you can get the phenols one. Uh, but this uh, phenols, all the oxygenates go to high temperature is mostly can go to the second uh, cracking or, or for the second confusing, they can get the uh, large compounds to the uh, nestling, uh, to benzene fluorines, different kind of two or three or metabolism together to, to show some fused ring together. Okay. Uh, except the vaporizer we, we is the one, so we look at the char part in the solid part. But because the solid part, no, because we know that volatile spaces all come from the uh, solid char. So the solid char will also have contain the information for the mechanism explanation. So we we always look at the solid char. So here, the first thing they have some uh, IR, uh, FTR results. They also have NMR results. We also have the XRD, like the, uh, the no, this one is the Raman's one. You have the carbon scaling. So firstly, when we look at the IR spectrum, so you can see that the mostly for the low temperature, the most like the hydroxy, the also the deep the branching one, they have the deep branching, the deep hydroxy, this means that remove some water or also the deep, uh, among this one uh, decreasing. So you can see some new compounds formed. They have some carbon, uh, carbos, carbogony, this means the carbon oxygen, carbon double bond. Also, they have some carbon carbon bond for the aromatic rings one. So uh, this reaction will go to NMR, you can see mostly have the uh, carbon hydroxy bond, uh, carbon will be decreased with uh, uh, that at the 200 or 300 degrees C with temperature increasing. So it means uh, uh, cellulose, or the, also the uh, uh, hemicellulose, they are cracking here. Uh, also, the some uh, from the carbon uh, from the lignin, they also decrease a little bit. Uh, but when we look at the aromatic carbon or the alpha, alpha fatic carbon, you can see they they increase a lot. So they form they form some new aromatic uh, carbons. One so from the carbohydrate, they form uh, aromatic. Uh, when we look at the uh, from the Raman uh, the result on the carbon scaling. So for the first, uh, for the low temperature, we can see they mostly will form benzene ring. Then after that, the benzene ring we will form, we will form some clusters, one, like so to form the one aromatic ring, then we uh, form two or three or uh, four or something. But then uh, if you go to higher temperature, these carbons will be rearrangement. They will be uh, to form some graphite structure. So based on the, uh, this one is uh, we totally from biomass. I mean, uh, hemicellulose, cellulose are uh, also leaking together. So when we look at, we uh, based on the, that's what based on the last three slides. So we uh, summary some uh, the mechanisms one. So it's uh, uh, similar uh, from before. It's like the first is just the, like the uh, carbon bond, like the hydrogen bond for dehydration. Also some the hydrogen bond like the breaking or cracking. Also the uh, depolymerization like because we open to four, 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 four depolarization, we can get some monomers at a lower temperature, like a, or lower than 300 degrees C. Uh, after that, we can uh, open the glucose bond. We, we have some very glucose, sugars, like the for formation of the pyrines. Also, for the char side, they have the, some aromatic green networks. Uh, then if we go higher, so the char for the char, they can form some amorphous chars. And also for the products, you can have some light spaces for the gas product. Also, you can get the fluoro or, or the phenols one. So you can get uh, for the solid char, the lower or for a higher temperature, the very high is mean uh, to the 600 or 800. So you can the some defects defects will be and I mentioned you diminishing, so they can form a regiment for the carbon regiment. They can so form some, uh, you know, graphite structure, 
just like graphite structure because we know that graphite would need a higher temperature as well. So this is based on the uh, biomass. Uh, let's just now we know that the biomass uh, is a com composed, is a, uh, I mean, the composition is most from the cellulose, hemicellulose, and the ligny. Also, when we explain, when we uh, look at the mechanism, we are always uh, to lo look, you know, in the final decision from the different compositions one. So uh, let's look at the, some uh, knowledge from the uh, composition from this, this three kind of com uh, component. So firstly, uh, is because the cellulose is the uh, most important. Also cellulose is very simple because they have some uh, polymer glucose polymer structures. Uh, it can be uh, very easy to cracking. Uh, you know, they can add the 300 to 400 will be the, you know, degrading very quickly uh, in the short temperature range. Uh, but for the gas product, you can you can find that this one mostly for the uh, methane gas is mostly for the CO and the CO2. Uh, also similar be for this one, the CO will be where, uh, as a uh, 500, uh, 500 degrees, it will be uh, over 500 uh, high temperature. It can be uh, have large amount of CO. Okay, when we look at the uh, liquid one, is a vapor phase from the liquid one. So you can see uh, the, for the products, mainly they have the uh, uh, linear phytic, this means the smaller, um, uh, smaller acetate acid. Uh, they have also, they have large compound like the pyrines one. They also have some fluorines, uh, like cyclopentin. But for when we look at the anhydrous sugars one, because uh, there are a lot of anhydrous sugars one, even at a lower temperature, the anhydrous sugar mostly the LGO. In fact, the LGO is a very important one. This is why they uh, they made some LGO for the medicine for, for pharmacy, so they can produce LGO at the low temperature. But if we go higher temperature, you can the LGO maybe some also some other species will form the LG. Uh, here, the, when you look at the, uh, the uh, left side, one, you also can have the, the phosphor, phosphor, uh, France. They have some France, like the 20% is the uh, France one. So but normally, because uh, before, I mean, before uh, is the mechanism, or mostly they based on the liquid and the gas to uh, to uh, for look for, uh, for uh, put the focus on the vapor phase. So we also uh, summarize some mechanism based on the uh, vapor phase. So it's uh, just uh, similar is uh, as the uh, three hundred because of the low temperature, the uh, uh, cellulose is no any no obvious reaction, no uh, no the paralysis. Just the uh, when we uh, low uh, over three hundred, you can get the, to the dehydration or to the ring open, so you can form sugars and the France one. Uh, but as uh, uh, 500 something, because the most of this one is an also no bigger subjects, they have transitional uh, period. Uh, if the temperature is higher, it can be some cyclopendings one, like uh, they have a second cracking, they will form light spaces, also the uh, gas phase. Uh, but if we go further for higher, this is automatic one. But this one, we mean, uh, yeah, this one just based the gas, based on the uh, liquid one. So most of the reaction, what happened for the reaction, how they cracking, all the, uh, is only from the statics, uh, from the uh, products. I mean, it's, it's a statics information. So uh, this one cannot to give some uh, uh, identified products, so identified uh, process, with the process only from the, the based on the way gas, the gas from the liquid, from the uh, gas product. Uh, this, uh, so, uh, so it's man, uh, all, all from gas is now so very correct. So to, we'll, uh, if we want to get some identify, as you know, the for intermediates one to look at the process, what happened during the process, pyrolysis process. So the we uh, recently there are many there are some research on the like the PI mass. I think this one, the uh, perfect young, uh, yeah, being young is very formula for PMS one. So the you will also the PMS was the, uh, introduced into the biomass pyrolysis process. Uh, here they give some examples they uh, used for the cellulose. This means for the uh, cellulose component, uh, model compound. So you can see uh, there are many many different components without not mentioned on the uh, with the GC mass with the before previous result. So they have some like the zero 
materials when we ported the intermediates like glyc or aldehydes. Also, they have some isomers was was formed. The molecules were uh, detected. Uh, but even we go like the longer time, also the higher temperature, so you can see the uh, pre uh, primary, uh, primary uh, products like primary intermediate like glyc aldehydes, also the isomer will, uh, will undergo the secondary, secondary paralysis to form some light space, uh, like uh, to form some of our final products. Right? So uh, based on the PMS, because PMS just now is also less than uh, carbon uh, 20 or something, uh, because during the pyrosis process, they not only have the carbon 10, carbon 20, for the uh, uh, liquid spa uh, spaces, there are many, many, uh, there are large uh, amount of spaces. Maybe they have a heavy compound because they, they are not only cracking, they also have the condensation, they also feel some fuel rings. So they are large compound. So with the, not, with the conventional process, uh, uh, technology, it's not easy to identify so this large compound. So recently, the FT mass, they can be used in the biomass process to uh, to quantify to uh, this mean what is a large compound. So you can see the pictures here. You, we can detect some like the uh, carbon 35 or carbon 40 so one. So they can get the very large the information for the logic compound, how the logic compound the cracking to form the uh, light spaces to the small compounds. Uh, so based on this one for the cellulose, so you can see that we have the, some cellulose like the uh, cellulose cracking, they have different kind of sugars. They have uh, like the phenol-like spaces one. Uh, this one, they can, uh, we, even we have the longer time. So here we use like the 60 seconds or 90 seconds or also the inline or uh, outline, uh, different uh, the uh, temperature, different uh, reaction time. Something you can see that if we uh, raise the temperature, we will increase the temperature. So we, we will uh, promote the, like the larger sugars or phenolic, uh, phenolic spaces, they go to the secondary reactions one. Uh, also based on this one, we can see that uh, in the, uh, yeah, after the uh, you know, first the pri primary cracking, so they can go to the, in, the, uh, uh, in the gas phase, in the vapor phase, the large compound can go to the homogeneous one, homogeneous evolution. Then they have some uh, like the dehydration, also de uh, decarbonization, so they can form some small spaces. Also, the, for the uh, they have also they identify some radicals is a, a similar for the intermediates one. This is very important for the process distribution. So they have the, the radical recommendation, also the condensation based on this information is one. Hey Ping, can you hear me? This is Katarina. Yes. We have to wrap up because people want to go also to other meetings and uh, so the time is gone so if you can okay. come and move to your conclusions huh? it's not 40 minutes it's already 40 minutes yes you are already over time oh sorry sorry okay uh I will, uh, maybe, maybe just talk just too much. Maybe, will... maybe one two slide conclusions and then we'll have to move to questions Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, I, will, I will quickly go to because uh, for the hemisphere is very similar uh, from a cellulose, but only uh, for the ligand is different. So ligand because they have many benzene ones, they have phenols ones, so they were different one. Uh, okay, uh, so just uh, uh, go quickly. Uh, this one they have different uh, method, different uh, uh, different type of compound, so they have different ways. So uh, I will quickly go to the some others. Uh, slide just uh, for the upgrading one. Now we have uh, uh, because of just now mentioned that the uh, high product is very important. Value product is very important one. So we get the uh, the aromatic one. Uh, then after that we want to get the you know from the uh, zeolite. The, we have automation. We have the different. We have the. Uh, by oil yield and the quality, uh, the quality is balanced. So we we uh, made the mechanism to the dual uh, catalyst to for the liquid fine, liquid liquid one, liquid product. Then finally, we also uh, have the solid charge one. The solid charge they get uh, uh, we we solid charge for the normally they have very complex process. But now we think we can have a very simple process. We we made all the combine together. So here you can see we have the uh, 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 based on the new development they have the like the, the combined all the 
uh, chemical activation and nitrogen doping together uh, with pyrosis, they can uh, get the sulfur air, they can get a higher uh, nitrogen compounds. Uh, so we go to some uh, challenges one. Biomass pyrosis, we know this can be produced different kind of products. Also, it can upgrading is can be get the carbon-based high-value products one. Uh, but this one, uh, even with pro biomass, we know it's very low grade. Also, it have a, a large amount of uh, the inorganic compounds. So if we want to get the higher value one, so they are still a long way. They are still uh, face the great challenge. You want to get like uh, energy storage, like the battery catalyst. So uh, there are many works. So we still need to do like the multi-scale uh, the structure. We need to from the mechanism one. You will need to uh, those uh, um, uh, like the high, uh, different kind of like the hydrodynamic, also the thermodynamic issues from the nano scale to a large scale. Also, from the technology part, from the uh, we need a uh, high, high efficiency catalyst. Also, the from the progress you need to optimize uh, to a control. Then you can get the higher quality. Uh, for also for the high quality the products, you we can get the uh, polygenesis for the future. Uh, you, you can can normally the now the polygenesis are only for few, but even in the future they have some chemicals. They will have have high value products. One. Uh, Okay, uh, sorry for the uh, the long time for the late. Uh, uh, I'm, uh, now I'm okay for the um, close my uh, session. Uh, if you have any question, maybe we can discuss later. So sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much for your lecture and uh, some applause. I'm afraid. Thank we you. We are, can you put Bin also on the screen? So I'm afraid we are a little bit much over time so the session has ended about five minutes ago and some people have left the audience already because they need to go to other talks so Sorry. maybe we have time for one or two very quick questions and i look around in the audience whether somebody would like to have the word yes please so please speak into the microphone, and so I think they both can see you, but only from behind because the camera is there. So please. Okay. Uh, I'm David Couch from Sandia National Labs. I read an article recently about smushing cellulose into super wood. So I was wondering if there's, uh, it, it, probably not answerable yet, but, it, but is it better to smush cellulose into super wood or pyrolyze it into these other materials, or is there a cost benefit of each? Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, they are, uh, Professor, uh, I think, uh, uh, who from the motherland, the motherland, they had, they, he had the, do a research a lot on the wood. So the wood for batteries, the wood for, yeah, yeah, yes, they are, uh, we can, we can make, also we can make, the, uh, you know, the super wood from the pyrolysis. Uh, uh, you can, we can use the, for the super capacitor, also we can use the, for the battery. But only things because uh, normally, uh, in China, we use straw like sample, but uh, even Wood, wood is much clean, uh, clean without uh, uh, the uh, potassium, sodium, so it's very easy to use uh, for the super capacitors, also batteries one. Uh, also another one, uh, you, you mean the super wood can be used for materials, like they can take a place for steel. Uh, so uh, yes, this one is some kind of the, like different from pyrosis. They, uh, they are similar with the, uh, the materials one, material process. Uh, we, we have some idea about the, you know, this one, uh, maybe, uh, from the pyrosis, we also try to make some super wood, but uh, it's still uh, not <laughs> not uh, have the very good result. Yeah. Maybe we can we can try uh, more on the uh, you know the similar similar as the materials as uh, to take place the uh, uh, steel or other things. Thank you. So thank you for this answer. And if you have let's say want to interact more, you can do that by email. I think we have used our time. And congratulations to being elected to the board. And um, well, bye bye to China, and you will get a certificate for that lecture. Thank you very much, Hei Ping. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.